Here's my camp spot. <clears throat> this has been a perfect spot <clears throat> to do some exploring around here. Do my electronic horn. Start on a black bear because I definitely do not want to run into one. Exploring your uh, national forest. Finding stuff like this. I'm Mark, dispersed camping man, and I am currently uh, dispersed camping in the western part of Arkansas. And I'm in the Ouachita National Forest, and I am fairly close to Jack Creek Recreation Area, about two, three miles up the road right here. Uh, in order to get here, uh, starting from Boonville, Arkansas, You'll be taking Highway 23 and then turning out to Jack Creek Road. And about 10 miles on Jack Creek Road, uh, you'll find my dispersed camping spot. Jack Creek Road does turning into a gravel road about eight miles in. <clears throat> and the uh, gravel road is about two, three miles in. And it'll get you to my dispersed camping spot right on Jack Creek. Look at that pretty cool out there there. Pretty nice little creek I found myself dispersed camping next to. It's a pretty uh, neat little uh, deep holes too you can uh, swim at. So here's part of uh, Jack Creek and I love dispersed camping right on uh, creeks. Right through there, you see my camper and my uh, trailer right through there. Let's go take a look. Jack Creek Road. And you turn in right here. Up to the left is an open field. It kind of veers off to the right where my camper's at right there. My camper's right there on the right. And I have this big open space right here. I've got a 150 foot Starlink cable. I just ran from my truck. Ran it across this little road out into that field to put my uh, Starlink up. It has worked perfect. Right now there is zero cell service out here. So if you come out here, be prepared of no cell service whatsoever. I got my Starlink, it gives me a cell service and also gives me internet. Here's my camp spot. <clears throat> this mud hole wasn't no problem for me. So I just stayed to the far left. Make sure I have some traction. Love this camping spot. Under a lot of shade too. That would come in handy in the summer months, blocking out that sun. And right down there is the creek. Take you down there in a second. <clears throat> All this firewood was here when I got here, so they even uh, had me a fire built. All I do is light it. So I did light that fire. Pretty nice little fire. Made me some, uh, I think some, uh, some pasta. Just sat by the fire while I was here. <clears throat> this has been a perfect spot to <clears throat> do some exploring around here. Motorcycle's <clears throat> got a flat. I have got to get it taken in. Get that bad boy fixed. I'm not going to mess with fixing it. This bad boy's been doing pretty good for me. I'm just loving my trans out. Of course, got my generators out. <clears throat> Haven't had to run the AC, just keep my batteries topped off. Like there's no point in pulling out my solar because I am not getting no solar where I'm at right now. <clears throat> I've been uh, really liking my e-bike. I like exploring on this thing. Cause you can get up close and personal. I can get to places where I can't get even my motorcycle. I am loving it. Especially my panniers. I carry an extra battery with me for my bike that I had to actually use today, uh, yesterday, doing some exploring. Let's go down here and check out the creek. This is the main attraction for this spot right here. <coughs> I did, you did have to watch this tall grass, you will get ticks on you. I just try not to brush up against it. Or you can put some, uh, what I call tick dope on you, some repel. 
Look at that. Right outside your back door of your camper or your tent. The sounds of the creek will lull you to sleep. Jack Creek right here, folks. <clears throat> I love weeding these creeks. I did a lot of uh, creek walking when I've been here. Got a path straight to the creek right here. You got a pretty nice little hole, deep hole right there. There's the bridge we were just on. You got a nice little deep spot right there too. Do some wading and swimming. Another pretty cool uh, thing about this spot right here is uh, right down the road, probably less than two miles is Buck Ridge Shooting Range. I took, jumped on my e-bike and went over there to check it out. If you have any guns or something like that you have in your uh, camper, uh, this uh, shooting range up there, the Buck Ridge Shooting Range, is a free range that the uh, I think the National Force puts on. That's uh, you go out there and uh, do some target practicing. If you, one of your hobbies is uh, shooting, so here's a Buck Ridge firing range right here. Let's go take a look. I love checking these places out. This is actually a free firing range you can uh, come to. It's got a pretty cool little backstop right back there. Side in your guns, your uh, long guns and your handguns. This facility is provided for, for your enjoyment, for your charge. And of course, caution, there's an increase in bear activity in this area, which kind of makes sense because it is spring. And they, the mama bears got their cubs wandering around to get something to eat. Look at all the spent rounds. You're all over the place. I'm surprised most people don't pick up their brass. Especially uh, if you reload. That there looks like a 380 right there. Uh, yep, 380. Mm, got some uh, shot shells. Got some metal. Looks like a uh, 9 mil. Got a lot of 22s. Uh, so here's a 380. I think like a 223 maybe. Somebody left some uh, target signs. Pretty cool. Even got a little gun rack here. Got some shooting tables. Now oh, this thing swivel. Oh, that's pretty neat. If you're right or left-handed. Pretty cool little target range. I guess these are uh, bear saber. Yeah, Just put your hand in. Somebody's got some home-style fried chicken down in there. These people are fast. Buck Ridge Shooting Range. Free. If you're out in this area, you want to go shoot some guns, stop by here and uh, take care of some target practice. I'm going to leave the grid corner to this location in this video description if you're interested in coming out here. Pretty clean area, too. Watch for bears, though. I think about 10 miles up the road, there's called the Lake Vista Lookout. It's pretty awesome. I really uh, enjoyed uh, taking my e-bike up there and checking that spot out. I want to take you up there on my e-bike and uh, show you Lake v Vista. Look at that. Like I said, on the left is a wilderness, Dry Creek Wilderness. On the right is uh, Washita National Forest. I'm driving on, I think this is a Forest Road 51. And if y'all remember, when I was at that shooting range, there's a sign up saying there was bear activity. So what I've been doing is honking my horn every so often. I don't want to start or startle no uh, black bear with their cubs, especially I'm going around corners. 
ring my bell, or I'll do my electronic horn. That way I want to start on a black bear because I definitely do not want to run into one going around these corners. I'll probably just punch it. Well, there's no way I'll stop because by the time I stopped, I'll be right in front of them. <laughs> and I seriously doubt I'll see a black bear. They're pretty shy. And I've never heard of a black bear going after somebody, especially in the Ouachita or the Ozarks. Look at this beautiful area down through here. I am definitely enjoying my e-bike. I wish I would have got one earlier. I've always wanted one, but I've never really had a place to, to put it while I'm driving since I've been carrying that, uh, bringing my trailer with me. It's giving me a perfect uh, uh, spot to uh, throw my uh, e-bike. I'm going places a place. I'm loving mine, especially that uh, digital display. And I don't think I'd be able to make it this far on a regular mountain bike. This pedal assist helps out a lot, especially going up these rugged mountains. I'm in pedal assist two right now. It goes all the way up to five. A two is good with me. I've also got my, I also bought a spare battery. So I got two batteries. I could probably go to 100 miles almost on both these batteries. Depending on how much pedal assist to use. Drag Creek Wilderness. Some thick forest out through there. Look at the pines. Beautiful day. Do some uh, mountain biking. E mountain biking that is. Thankfully, this isn't a very big tree. It's pretty rotted. Uh, normally when I'm traveling in my truck like this, my camper, you have a chainsaw just for stuff like this. Should be good enough. Hear the sound of the birds. We are almost there. Here we go. Last turn off to Lake Vista. National Forest, Lake Vista. Of course, there's a sign right there, another one. That's showing caution. There is an increase of bear activity in this area. Huh, that's why I've been the whole way here. We are almost there. Once you find that sign, Make this right. I am getting excited. Looking forward to check out the vista. I can kind of see way out there right now. Look at that. Hopefully nobody's here. <laughs> oh yeah, somewhere to park. There's a buzzard. Oh yeah, this is pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. Pretty good area. Got a little walkway right here. What a view. Looks like I got some fire rings. People put me camping up here. I don't blame them. Look at that view. Some buzzards out there. Yeah, my uh, camera is not doing this place justice. What a view! Right up there is Blue Mountain Lake. 
Look at the view. See the whole lake from up here. This is what it's all about. Exploring your uh, national forest. Finding stuff like this. What a view. Lake Vista, it's part of the uh, Washtenaw National Forest. Right across the street is the uh, Dry Creek Wilderness. I'm pretty sure hardly nobody comes out here. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to find, but you get on the Forest Road 133 and uh, go up that road. It leads you right here. You see the sign up front to make this turn. Beautiful lookout right through here. You even see the buzzards flying around out there. I also want to suggest is make sure if you do come to this spot that you have a backup plan because there's only like one place in this area that you can disperse camp at and it's right here right next to the creek. About a mile, mile and a half up the road there are other places you can disperse camp at in this area <clears throat> but it's a very limited. I think there's two other spots up there up going up towards like Jack Creek Recreational Center <clears throat> area. There's uh, two more dispersed camping spots you can choose from. But like I said, I am pretty sure this place is pretty packed in the uh, summer. So yeah, uh, let me go ahead and give you one more look around to this pretty cool little dispersed camping spot I found. Right down there is Jack Creek, which is the best part of this dispersed camping spot. And people have been using this trail to get down there. And this is a pretty level spot. You can probably park a rig there, you can park a rig there, or you can... Uh, Throw up a tent right here, whatever you want to do. I'm very appreciative of these folks dragging in a firewood for me. Built a nice little fire the other night, eating my uh, blackened chicken pasta. <clears throat> you hit the spot. There's a lot of shade trees too, so you're undercover pretty good. I'm not seeing no dead trees, so you should be good. Yeah, whole bunch of awesomeness in this spot. I don't know how that mud puddle is going to get worse or better. I don't know. <clears throat> and if you got Starlink coming out here with some Starlink, throw it out there in the field like I did. I had like zero interruptions, high speed internet, and uh, Wi Fi calling. Thought that was pretty cool right there. Love finding these dispersed camping spots. I also forgot to point out, threw up my uh, cameras up. <clears throat> I love being able to be away from campsite and if I got cell service, I can jump on them and check my camping spot. Still wondering if I've been, people have been at it. There's another one. I've got another one somewhere else. Oh, uh, <clears throat> my other camera. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's up in that little tree right there pointing towards the field, keep an eye on that area. And as soon as someone walks or drives by that, <clears throat> I'll get notified, which is pretty cool. Jack Creek Recreation Area, part of the Washita National Forest. You can check out, especially if you like shooting guns, there's a firing range less than a mile and a half, two miles down the road I had you guys look at. <clears throat> then you can drive or mountain bike, e-bike to the Lake Vista up there. And you also got a uh, Jack Creek Recreational Area up there. Got a little camping spot up there. You also uh, view or swim in that swimming area. Sure appreciate you guys for watching uh, my videos. If you haven't hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below. And I uh, try to get back to all my people who comment. And definitely appreciate all my uh, uh, Patreon subscribers, my uh, pay subscribers, and folks who actually donate money to me to, on Zelle. Uh, appreciate you guys for uh, 
contributing to my channel. I thank you guys for watching my videos and uh, liking my content. Like I said, if you like this type of content, I try to uh, show you dispersed camping spots throughout wherever I'm at. And I try to leave the great corners also. And uh, yeah, folks, I also have Facebook and I also have an Instagram. Uh, roll over there and follow me on those two pages. It does help my page out. Hey guys, beautiful spot right here. Thanks for watching.